Yes, it's a great day. Things are happening and uh, it's all uh, in our favor. I'm just so happy. Well, today there's some big news out there. Uh, but at first, I gotta kind of rewind a little bit so you guys kind of know uh, what I'm talking about and so forth. Remember back in 2018, uh, Professor um, Nicholas Merriweather, and uh, he he accidentally called a student sir in the class, and the student turned him in and uh, basically reported him for not calling him by the preferred pronouns. Well, you know, that went to court, and then, of course, it got struck down, then he appealed, and then it was referred to the uh, Sixth Circuit Court. And uh, as it went, you know, through the you know process, uh, he ended up winning. And uh, I've got a little bit of information here that I'm going to show you that, of what the, the court said in that initial uh, ruling. But one of the, the things that I thought was kind of, funny is he went the professor went to while well, his superior at the at the college or or the the person that's ahead of his like division of what what he teaches and her name was Jennifer Polly now Jennifer Polly um, didn't agree with them and she wrote this and I'll, she said that Christians are primarily motivated out of fear and should be banned from teaching courses regarding that religion. In her view, even the presence of religion in higher education is counterproductive. Um, university, so the university decided to give her a, a message of their own, real loud and clear over this issue. Yep, they sure did. What they did is they promoted her. <laughs> Who would have figured that? Anyway, let's get back to the other part of the, uh, the court ruling so that we can finally get to what I'm here to tell you about today. So check out, this is what the, the court said uh, in their ruling. If professors lacked free speech protections when teaching, a university would wield alarming power to compel ideological conformity. A university president could require a pacifist to declare that war is just a civil rights icon to condemn the freedom riders, a believer to deny the existence of God. That cannot be. Well, so I really love what the court's opinion was on that whole issue. The neat thing about it is now it sets precedence, and now that um, hearing can always be referred to in future cases. So you know uh, other universities are going to have to start backing down on their, their push to... Uh, uh, force uh, you know professors to talk and walk in a certain manner but anyway this is what happens when you win now it's referred back down to the, the court that he originally had to get an appeal on and now they're they have to make a settlement now a settlement can be uh, monetary or it can be conditional or it can be both monetary and conditional and this one's both and I love it so Mr. Merriweather, the court ordered the, the uh, university, Shawnee State University, to pay him $400,000. That's pretty good, you know. Um, but the, the best part is they now have to acknowledge that Merriweather has a right to choose when to use or avoid using titles or pronouns when referring to or addressing students. The best part of this is the university had to, by court order, pledge to never force him to use anyone's preferred pronouns, including when a student requests that pronoun. He's, it's up to him. You know, he, he can choose to or not. They cannot force him. So, I thought that was great. I wanted to share that with you guys. So remember to like, share, and subscribe. So we will see you on the next one. Alrighty, bye-bye.